Hello everyone, Porcelain here on Manufactured, and welcome to another episode of Tossed and Found. Uh, this is probably going to be one of my favorite hauls. I know that often on here I do things like toys and crafts and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, today we have mostly like a clothing and accessory haul. Not every clothing item that I've bought at a garage sale is in this because I have worn them and now they're upstairs and I'm not going to bother bringing them down for a video. I'm doing all that sort of thing, but this stuff I haven't used or worn yet, so it's clothing and accessories, mostly going to be spooky or fun or elegant. Uh, a lot of my wardrobe is very uh, gothic, so uh, yeah, we'll see that sort of thing here. Uh, yeah, we're going to jump right into it. So the first thing I got was this little case I bought at a garage sale for a dollar. And what I love about it is that it's so small. It is a, uh, a jewelry case. It's got lots of different compartments. And it's all black, which is obviously the right color. I only wear black. Sorry, you can probably see the rest of the room in there. But uh, it is the perfect size for sticking in a suitcase for when I'm going to... Uh, like going away for any reason to visit friends or uh, go to a convention or whatnot. Maybe not a convention because I usually cosplay, but uh, when I go away anywhere, this will definitely come in handy in my suitcase with all my jewelry. I wear a lot of jewelry, so this is this is awesome for a dollar. Super happy about that. Next, we have a lunchbox, uh, which I bought just for the like ironic. Uh, like the the sort of joke value that it has, uh, especially being a lunchbox and the fact that it's perfect condition. Um, it is a sugar daddy lunchbox. It says everyone needs a sugar daddy, which my younger viewers won't get, but that's okay. I think it's hilarious, and uh, especially since I look really young, um, and sometimes wear like kind of Lolita-ish clothing. Not not to the point where I wear like actual Lolita wear, but. Uh, I think that it's just really, really hilarious. Um, personally, I think it's really funny. And I stuck a bunch of other accessories that I bought inside it, so I'm going to open it in a minute and show you guys those. But, yeah, I thought that this was super adorable, really hilarious. I think it would look awesome in a photo shoot if I ever did one. Uh, or if so... Sorry if there's a really harsh cut in the video right there. My camera battery died, and I had to wait till... A couple days later to film the rest of this video so yeah that really really sucks and I don't even remember where I was I think I was talking about the lunchbox and how I think it's really um, like I, I, I think it's great just for the comedy value of it um, yeah I just think it's really funny and it looks super retro in it in the style that it's done and uh, yeah, I just, I just had to have it for 25 cents, I just had to have it, so I am very, very happy about it. It's in, like, awesome condition, too. Um, I'm sure the people who made it, uh, putting Everyone Needs a Sugar Daddy on there, I think that that was for comedic value as well, so. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I don't know that I've ever actually tried Sugar Daddy's The Candy, though, so. Who knows, I have no idea if they're actually good, but what's in here is a whole bunch of stuff that I've bought at other sales that I've just sort of accumulated inside the lunchbox for when I was going to make another video. So this is the only, I think, or one of probably the only sort of non-spooky uh, things in this video since most of what I do wear and stuff is pretty spooky. And I had shirts up here too, and I have no idea where they went. This video is going to be all over the place now, and that really sucks. Anyway, we're going to open the lunchbox and I'll show you other sort of accessories and things I have bought at some other garage sales. So the first few are some waist belts. There's one like this. It's very plain. I like to wear a lot of uh, summer, like, sundresses. I have a couple black ones and one that's like black with roses on it. And this says two dollars, but I bought a few of them together, so I'm pretty sure I paid a little less than what they list, but I thought this one's really cute. It's just very, very simple. The next one from the same sale was a little bit frillier. Looks like this. 
and it's just got that sort of plain silver clasp. I like silver clasps just because uh, silver goes a lot better with black than gold does. So most of my accessories are silver. Then I actually got this belt at a thrift shop. Um, I really, really love it though. It has got this sort of silver clasp with a bunch of hearts on it. And it's super frilly. I got it from Valley Village for two dollars. It's really frilly and girly and I think just it's just really really cute. Um, I really like this one. Can't wait to wear it with one of my dresses. It's so super cute. And well, I think this is the last belt. Uh, this one I got for free at a garage sale because they the person just wanted to get rid of it. Um, it's not entirely spooky, but it's got this awesome chain. So the entire belt is like this huge long chain, and then it just hooks in around like that anywhere. This again, a little heart thing. I don't generally wear like really big blingy pieces like this, but I think I could probably pull it off, and if not, I can take all the chain apart and use the chain to customize something else. So I'm very happy with those. Next I have a scarf. It is just this plain black scarf. It's kind of see-through, as you can see. And then on the end, it's got like this little jewel piece. I'm not entirely sold on the little jewel piece, but I don't think it's that bad. And I think that this would be a really nice scarf for in the summer or something. There's nothing on the other end. And I could probably even remove the gems if I wanted to. It's very soft. I have no idea what kind of material it's made out of, though. What else is in here? It's been so long since I stuck this stuff in here. Oh, I have a headband. Um, I'm probably... I have a headband. I'm probably going to add something to it. Uh, it's nice and solid headband though, and I like having good headbands. I love wearing things like hats and headbands and things, and I like having good ones to customize and make into other things. Next is some jewelry that has obviously gotten tangled. Oh, there we go. Uh, so the first one is this piece. It's just a black piece in a silver casing, and it's got this sort of sleek silver chain thing. I think that's pretty. I like just pendants with one thing on them. Like this next one, not quite as pretty and probably a lot cheaper. Um, sorry if you can have hear the coughing in the background. That is my brother. But it looks like that. It's like a little teardrop shape with some lace, some like metal lace detail looking stuff, and then just a plain silver chain. The last one is on an all black chain, which I love, that sort of thing. And it is just this tiny little, ooh, tiny little thing. Like that. So there, the, the last thing in here is a whole bunch of these little like nail art stickers I got uh, for two bucks for a whole bunch of them. I got some white ones that have these little floral patterns, which I think would come out really well because I usually wear really dark nail polish, either a dark purple, a dark red, or a black. Um, sometimes dark blue, but usually it's usually it's purple or black. Um, so I think that those would stand out really well on black nails. And then I got. These ones with these tiny little gems. Oh, there's another white one. And I didn't get them for $2 a piece, I got them for $2 for all of them. So, I think that's not too bad. I got these ones and this one that has two little hearts. I love them. Super cute. Super cute. Can't wait to wear those. My nails always look terrible in my videos, though, because I don't 
touch them up often, so sorry about that if any of you care. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, next we have a couple more accessories. I just bought these at a garage sale for everything cost around $5 because my mom bought herself a bunch of jewelry at the same place and we paid $10 for the lot of it. So this is about half of what we bought, so around $5 and there's some really awesome stuff in here. Uh, the first one is this piece. is oh, black. Very ornate. It's actually quite heavy. And I definitely think that it will look good on me. Then we have a bracelet. It is all these blue and black gems. Once it comes into focus. It's kind of hard to tell actually on camera, but some of them are. See, if you look at the side, half of them are like a dark blue and half of them are black, but it's pretty hard to tell. Then I got a pair of clip-on earrings. I still don't have pierced ears. I don't have any piercings, which people are always surprised at. I do want some piercings, but yeah, I've never even pierced my ears. Uh, not because I'm afraid or anything, just because never bothered, but these ones are clip-ons and they're like these black chains. That's what just one of them looks like. I thought those looked pretty cool. And then I got three rings that I'm very excited about. So the first one is this one. It's just got like this matte black piece in the middle. And I think it's really cute. And the second one actually goes super well with my nails. It is this ring. Ooh, focus. It's got this purple stone. And that's the detailing around it. I really like it. And then the last one is by far my favorite. Um, this is it. It's got like a little paper rose encased in resin, but it's colored to kind of look like it's it's in amber, which I really, really like. And it's got little gems on the side, but I just love it. It looks like super romantic and uh, kind of Victorian. I'm a huge fan of that one. I'll definitely, definitely get a lot of wear out of this one. Actually, I'll probably get a lot of wear out of all three of them. So I'm very happy with all that jewelry. And the final thing is two t-shirts I actually picked up at another garage sale. They were in a big pile with a bunch of like men's clothing, so <laughs> they're gonna be huge on me, but that's okay. I thought they were cool, so I picked them up. Um, the first one is uh, this old Rob Zombie t-shirt. Uh, I'm not so much a fan of Rob Zombie for his music or anything, uh, but I think his films are a lot of fun to watch, so. That's not bad, and the shirt actually looks pretty pretty badass, so I'll probably wear this uh, for pajamas more than anything. It cost me a dollar. And then the second shirt I'm super, super excited about. It also cost me a dollar, and it is brand new. As you can see, it's still got its tags on it. Um, and there you can tell it's going to be Astro Boy. And... Okay, I was trying to fit this in the shot, so let's try it. Uh, at the top it says manga science fiction series. But the really cool thing is it's got this thing. Ooh. It's like Astro Boy on it, but he changes into like a bunch of mechanical wiring and parts inside. As you guys can see. Oh, it's so cool. It's just super, super cool, and it's never been worn. I'm not sure if I'll wear it, because I don't want to wash it and ruin it. It probably has to be hand-washed. So I, I don't know. I'm, like, really on the fence about wearing it, or if I should sell it um, to someone else, or if I should just, like, keep it nice. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> uh, like, I'm a huge manga and anime fan, and uh, it's just really cool to have something classic like this, but it's done in a really awesome way, and it's really cool that it's brand new, so not sure exactly what I'm going to do with that, but I'm still pretty happy with it. 
So it might be a little bit hard to see in this final shot due to everything being uh, black. Uh, <laughs> this is one of my harder like full shots to set up, but this is everything from today's haul. Uh, it was collected over the course of, you know, the past little while. I like to collect uh, like things from my thrifting adventures so that, you know, you can just click on the videos that you guys are interested in and not a video full of just random crap. Um, even though this is kind of random, but it's all sort of accessory and clothing the themed, uh, related, so I think it's not too bad. Uh, let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. Do you have any favorites from this video? What do you think I should do with the Astro Boy shirt? Uh, general thoughts, whatever you want to write down there. I do read every single comment and I try to respond to as many as possible. If you liked this video, I do put out videos like this every single week, so... Go check out another one if you like that as well and you haven't already. Maybe consider subscribing. That would be super awesome of you. Either way, guys, just keep playing by your own rules. See you later. Bye!